All right, it'll be just a moment here and we will get started. All right. Hey, what's up, Mary? How are you? Happy Friday. Let's go ahead and get donned up here. All right. All right. How's everybody doing today? All right, about two more minutes and we will kick off our Shabbat service. All right, one more minute. So thank you for everyone who is jumping on now. I appreciate it. I truly do. So as you can see, I have no piano, no guitar, no drums, no flute, no trombone. That means, yes, that means I am singing again tonight. Woohoo, I bet everybody's excited. I really am not. Um, I will do the best I can, just like I did last week. I have spoke to a few people this week, so I do see music in the future live music in the future so anybody but me singing yes i'm excited about that i love the weeknight motivations because i don't have to sing so it is tick tick bing it is six o'clock yay so we will get started so let's get started So Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Hang on one second. Let me just test my sound quality really fast. Okay, sound quality works. Let me take a look at my website. See a few people on webs and Facebook. Looks like we are up and running. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Welcome, Mouth Pagers. It is Friday. Super. Yeah. The weekend is here. Well, this is the last day. And then the weekend's here. Yay. So hope everyone has had a wonderful week. If not, then that's why we're here, right? To look at me and listen to my wonderful voice singing. That'll get you in the mood. I am Rabbi Yak, located outside of San Francisco, and I have one heck of a sense of humor. Mouthpage is an online spiritual community, and we are an online Jewish synagogue. Every Monday through Thursday, we do live weeknight motivations at 7 p.m. Pacific time. And as you know, every Friday, our Shabbat service is live, 6 p.m. Pacific time. So please check out our service either on Facebook or on our website. Our website is www.mouthpage.com. On our media tab, go to live stream. And our Facebook page is Mouthpage Spiritual Community. So for those of you who are new to our community, our weeknight motivations are designed to help each of you get motivated from a hard day, a hard week, and get ready for the week ahead. I try to make them short and powerful, about 10 minutes or so. So we have been going live now for over about, oh, little, about two or three days over a month. 
Last night we were at 830 people liking us on Facebook. Tonight, drum roll, brrr, we are at 955 people liking us on Facebook. So thank you so much, everybody. So who are who's watching us, who is checking out our videos, who are checking out all of our things that we do, I really appreciate it. I know we are really, really new, but we are growing really, really fast. So I really, really appreciate it. So I hope you find our community a place where you can grow spiritually. So for those of you die hard mouth pagers, following us on Facebook and watching our service, thank you, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. So please continue to help grow the mouth page community worldwide. The more people we can connect with, the more people we can help grow spiritually. Please feel free to chat with me on Facebook or chat with each other on Facebook. So thank you so much. So every night I will post mouth of the days, which is our version of word of the days, Every night, so check it out. See what you guys think. So if you happen to miss any of our services, we have them on our Facebook videos or on our website. Go to our live stream, click, uh, or just uh, not click, but hover over where it says live stream and you'll see the uh, archive. And go ahead and click that and you'll see all of our archive videos. So if you happen to miss any of them, check them out. I really appreciate it. So let's go ahead and get started with our Shabbat service. So again, anybody who is showing up uh, or who is now showing up. I said earlier that I am singing again, as you don't see any guitars, pianos, uh, any musical instruments. That means yes, that means yes, I am singing again. Woohoo! I will do the best I can. I Now I know I should have went to choir class when I had the chance because I don't know how to throw the voice the right way, the throat the right way. Whew, it is biting me now. But we're all a family, so we all back each other up. We all lift each other up when we're down, and we help Rabbi Yak when he can't sing. So here we go. Let's go ahead and get started. And I will start with the Hine, the Hine Matov. So give me a second. Let's get the, let me find my page. And we will kick it off. All right. So he name a tovuma and I am Shevet Akim Gam Yachad. How good and pleasant is it for brothers and Swissers sisters to dwell together? He name a tovuma and I am Shevet Akim Gam Yachad. He name a tovuma and I am Shevet Akim Gam Yachad. He name ato umanahim shavet akim gam yachad. He name ato umanahim shavet akim gam yachad. So what I try to do is I'll try to say it in Hebrew first, and then I'll translate it in English for those of you who don't speak Hebrew. All right. So now let's go ahead and do uh, the Mayafe Hayom. Maya fe hayom, Shabbat shalom. Maya fe hayom, Shabbat shalom. Shabbat, Shabbat shalom. Shabbat, Shabbat shalom. Shabbat, Shabbat, Shalom, Shabbat, Shalom. How lovely today is Shabbat, Shalom. All right, Yedi Nefesh, Yedi Nefesh, Av Harakamah, Meshok Av Dekha, Al Rezanecha, Yarutz Av Dekha, Kamo Ayal Ishtakave, Al Mil Haderecha, Hearts Their Light, Source of Mercy, Draw your servant into your arms. I leap like a deer to stand in awe before you. So let's go ahead and welcome the Shabbat. May the door of this synagogue be wide enough to receive all who hunger for love, all who are lonely for friendship. May it welcome all, of, all who have cares to unburden, thanks to express, hopes to nurture. 
May the door of the synagogue be narrow enough to shut out pettiness and pride, envy and antimosity. May its threshold be no stumbling block to young or straying feet. May it be too high to admit complacency, selfishness and harshness. May this synagogue be for all who enter the doorway to a richer and more meaningful life. All right, let's go ahead and light the Shabbat candles. Or a Shabbat candle, I should say. Oops, almost I went a little too fast here. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech Halam Asher Kachana B'Mitzvotah V'Tuvana L'Halik Ner Shal Shabbat. Blessed are you, Lord our God, Sovereign of the Universe, who has sanctified us with His commandments and has commanded us to light the lights of Shabbat. There we go. All right. Shabbat Shalom. If you're on Facebook or on the video chat, go ahead and say Shabbat Shalom to everybody. So Shabbat Shalom. All right. Let's go ahead and read some Psalms here. Psalm 95. Come, let us... Sing joyously to Adonai, raise a shout for our rock and deliver. Let us come into God's presence with praise. Let us raise a shout for God in song, for Adonai is a great God, the great ruler of all divine beings. In God's hand are the depths of the earth, the peaks of the mountains are God's. God's God is sea, God made it, and the land which God's hand fashioned. Come, let us bow down and kneel. Bend the knee before Adonai, our maker. For Adonai is our God, and we are the people. God tends the flocks in God's care. If you would, but heeds God's charge this day. Amen. Psalm 96. Sing to Adonai, bless God's name, proclaim God's victory day after day. Tell of God's glory among the nations, God's wondrous deeds among all people. For God is great and much acclaimed. God is held in awe by all divine beings. All the gods of the people are mere idols, but Adonai made the heavens and the earth Glory and majesty are before God. Strength and splendor are in God's temple. Let the heavens rejoice and the earth exult. Let the sea and all within it thunder. The fields and everything in them exult. Then shall all the trees of the forest shout for joy at the presence of Adonai. For God is coming, for God is coming to rule the earth. God will rule the world justly and its people in faithfulness. All right, Psalm 96, 97. Adonai is sovereign. Let the earth exult and the many islands rejoice. Dense clouds are around God. Righteousness and justice are the base of God's throne. O oh, you who love Adonai, hate evil. God guards the lives of God's loyal ones, saving them from the hand of the wicked. Light is sown from the righteous, radiance for the upright. O oh, you righteous, rejoice and Adonai, and acclaim God's holy name. See, right here would be a great time for an intermission for singing and some song, but we'll keep reading. Just saying. <laughs> Hope everybody likes my humor while I change pages. So, Psalm 98, a psalm. Sing to Adonai a new song, for God has worked wonders. God's right hand, God's holy arm, has won God's victory. Adonai has manifested God's victory, has displayed God's triumph in the sight of the nations. God will mindful, or God was mindful of God's steadfast love and faithfulness towards the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth beheld the victory of our God. Raise a shout to Adonai, all the earth. Break into joyous song and praise. All right, Psalm 29. 
Ascribe to Adonai, O divine beings, ascribe to Adonai glory and strength. Ascribe to Adonai the glory of God's name. Bow down to Adonai, majestic in holiness. The voice of Adonai is over the waters. The God of glory thunders. Adonai over the mighty waters. The voice of Adonai is power. The voice of Adonai is majesty. The voice of Adonai breaks cedars. Adonai shatters the cedars of Lebanon. God makes Lebanon skip like a calf, Syrian like a young wild ox. All right, let's let's uh, the Lakado D. But give me a second. Let me find it here. Okay. So the Lakado D, Lakado D la Krakala Pene Shabbat Nikabla. Beloved, come to meet the bride. Beloved, come to greet Shabbat. Shemor v'zachor b'dibur echad hishmiyana al hami echad. Adonai echad u'shemo echad v'lashem multiferet v'lehit hila. Keep and remember a single command that only God caused us to hear. The Eternal One is God's name, is one glory, and praise our gods. Lakrat Shabbat lachu v'nacha kihi mechor habracha merosh mechedem nesucha sof maase memacha Shabbat ticha. Come with me to meet Shabbat forever, a fountain of blessing. Still it flows as from the start, the last of days for which the first was made. Boi v'shalom atert b'ahala gam besincha uvitzhola tok emune amsugula boi chala boi chala. Lakado di la krakala pene shabbat ni kabla. So enter in peace, O crown of your husband. Enter in gladness. Enter in joy. Come to pe to, the, to the people that keeps its faith. Enter, O bride. Enter, O bride. All right, Psalm ninety-two. It is good to praise God to sing hymns to your name. O Most High, to proclaim your steadfast love at daybreak, your faithfulness each night, with a ten-stringed harp, with voice and lyre together. You have gladdened me by your deeds. I shout for joy at your handiwork. How great are your works, Adonai! How very subtle your designs! A brute cannot know, a fool cannot understand this. All right, let's go ahead and do the Shalom Alechem. This is a song about the angels. Shalom Alechem, Malachi HaSharet, Malachi Elyon, Mihi Melech, Mahalakhe hamlahakim hakadosh baruchu. Boakim la shalom, malakhe ha shalom, malakhe elyon. Mimelech, mahalakhe hamlahakim hakadosh. Baruchu, Baruchu ni le shalom, Malachi ha shalom, Malachi yo, Mi Malach, Malachi ha malachim hakadosh Baruchu. Zechim le shalom, Malachi ha shalom, Malachi elyon. Mi melek, Malachi ha malachim ha kadosh baruch hu. Peace to peace be to you, O ministering angels, messengers of the Most High, majesties of majesties, holy one of blessing. 
enter in peace, O messengers of peace, angels of the Most High, majesties of majesties, holy one of blessing. Bless me with peace, O messengers of peace, angels of the Most High, majesties of majesties, holy one of blessing. Depart in peace, O messengers of peace, angels of the Most High, majesties of majesties, holy one of blessing. That is the Shalom Aleichem. All right, let's go ahead and do the Chatzit Kaddish. Again, I will say it in Hebrew, and then I will translate it in English. Yitzgadah, v'yitzgadah, shemei rabah, be'amadi rachirote v'amlich machute, be'chayechon uv'yamechon, Uvchayechope Israel, Bahagala, Bahagala, Uvizmahan Kariv, Vimaru, Amen. Yeheshime Rabba Mavorach, Vealam Ame Amaya, Yit Barach. Yit barach v'yishta bach v'yit payar v'yit roman v'yit nase v'yit hadar v'yit hale v'yit halal shemed kudusha barechu lehela min kol birkata v'shirata tush bechata v'nechemata daha mihiran be'alma. Vimaru Amen. Exalted and hallowed be God's great name in the world which God created according to plan. May God's majesty be revealed in the days of our lifetime and the life of all Israel, speedily and mentally, to which we say Amen. Blessed be God's great name to all eternity. Blessed, praised, honored, extolled, glorified, adored, and lauded be the name of the Holy Blessed One beyond all earthly words and songs of blessing, praise, and comfort, to which we say, Amen. All right, let's go ahead and do the Barhu. Barhu et Adonai Hami Barak, Baruch Adonai Hami Barak, Le'alam Bayed, bless the Holy One, blessing, bless the Holy One forever. All right, the, let's go ahead and do the Ma'ariv Aravim. Baruch atah Adonai el Hanam al Kalam Asher bevaro Ma'ariv Aravim behokma potek sharim uvit pana mishene itim umakhalif et hazmanim umesadir et hakohavim be mishmaratim berakia kirdzonu bereyam valala goal or mipne choshet bechoshet mipne or Uma Avir Yam Umavi Lila Umavdil Bain Yam Uvain Lila Adonai Zvot Shmo El Chayve Chayem Tamid Imloka Lenu Leolam Bayed Baruch Atadonai Hamaariv Aravim Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, ruler of the universe, who speaks the evening into being, skillfully opens the gates, thoughtfully alters the time and changes the season and arranges the stars in their heavenly courses according to plan. You are a creator of day and night, rolling a light away from darkness and darkness from light, transferring day into night and distinguishing one from the other. Adonai Zizvaot is your name. Ever-living God, may you reign continually over us into eternity. Blessed are you, Adonai, who brings on the evening. Amen. All right, the Ahavat Olam. I'll do it in English first this time. Everlasting love, you offered your people Israel by teaching us Torah and mitzvot, or commandments. Laws and precepts, therefore Adonai our God, when we lie down and when we rise up, we will meditate on your laws and your commandments. We will rejoice in your Torah forever. Day and night we will reflect on them, for they are our life, and doing them lengthens our days. Never remove your love from us. Praise to you, Adonai, who loves your people, Israel. Uh, in Hebrew, Ahavat Holam, Beit Israel, Amcha Ahavta, Torah, Umitzvot, Kukim, Umishpatim, Otanu, Lemarta, Al Ken Adonai, Eloheinu, Beshochvenu, Uv Kumenu, 
Nasak be Kukeka, Benismak, Bedebre, Toraka, Uv, Mitzvotecha, Velam Bae, Kihem, Kainu, Verech, Yaminu, Uvahem, Nege, Yomam, Valala, Vehaaka, Al, Tasir, Mimeno, Velam, Mim, Baruka Tadanai, Oheva, Mo, Israel. Let's do the Shema. Shema Israel Adonai Elohenu Adonai Echad. Hear, O Israel, Adonai is our God, Adonai is one. Baruch Shem Kavod Machuk Dolelam Bayed. Blessed is God's glorious majesty forever and ever. All right, the Vehaavta. Do it in Hebrew first this time. Vehaavta et Adonai Elohecha Bechol Levacha Uvachol Nafshecha Uvachol Meodecha. Vehayu Hadvarim Haale Asher Anochi Mezacha Hayom Al Levavecha Vishenan Tam Levenecha Vedi Bartabam Beshiv Teka Bevi Teka Uvle Teka Vaderek Ushu Becha Uv Kumeka Uch Shaktam Leo Al Yadecha Vehayu Le Totefo Beninecha Uch Taftam La Al Mezuzo Beteka Uvisharecha Le Maan Tiskaruva Aistim Et Kol Mezotai Beitim Kedeshim Vealechem and Ani Adonai Elohechem, Asher Hodzeti et Chem Meeretz, Mitzrayim Leyot, Lachem Le Elohim, Ani Adonai Elohechem. You shall love Adonai your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your might. Take to heart these instructions with which I charge you this day. Impress them upon your children, recite them when you are at home and when you stay away or when you are away, when you lie down, and when you get up. Bind them as a sign on your hand, and let them serve as a symbol on your forehead. Inscribe them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. Thus shall remember to observe all of Adonai command, Adonai's commandments, and to be holy to your God. I am Adonai your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt to be your God. I am Adonai your God. All right, me Kamoka. I will this time do it in English, and then in Hebrew. Who is like you, O God, among the gods that are worshipped? Who is like you, majestic in holiness, awesome in splendor, working wonders? Your children witness your sovereignty, the sea splitting before Moses and Miriam. This is our God, they cried, Adonai will reign forever and ever. Thus it is said, Adonai redeemed Jacob from a hand stronger than his own. Praise are you, Adonai, for redeeming Israel. Baruch Adonai, Gaal, Israel. Mechemoka Balim Adonai, Mechemoka Nedar Bakodesh, Nora Teleo Ose Fele. Mahuta Rau Venecha, Boke Yam of Ne, Moshe Umiriam, Ze Ali Anu Vemru, Adonai Moka Lam Bael. Vene Mar Ki Fada, Adonai Et Ya Akhov, Uge Alo Mia Kazak Mimeno, Baruka Tadanai Gal, Israel. All right, we'll do the Hashkivenu. Grant, O God, that we lie down in peace and rise us up, our guardian to life renewed. Spread over us the shelter of your peace. Guide us with your good counsel for your namesake. Be our help, shield, and shelter us beneath the shadow of your wings. Defend us against enemies, illness, war, famine, and sorrow. Distance us from wrongdoing. For you, God, watch over us and deliver us. For you, God, are gracious and merciful. Guard and are, are co going and coming to life and peace evermore. Blessed are you, Adonai, guardian of Israel, who shelters us with peace, is spread over us, over all your people Israel, and over Jerusalem. Now in Hebrew. Chashkivenu Adonai Eloheinu Shalom. Ve Hamudenu, Shomrenu, Le Chaim, Ufros Alenu, Sukat, Shomecha. Ve Takenu, Ve Zeda, Tova, Milfanecha, Ve Hoshienu, Le Maan, Shmecha. Ve Hagen, Baadenu, Bahaser, Me Alenu, Oyev, Dever, Ve Harev, Ve Raav, Ve Agon. Ve Harek, Memenu, Avon, Bafesha, Uvidzel ke fanecha tasarenu ki al shamrenu umatzalenu ata ki al kaun ve rakaum ata. Amen. 
All right, the Vishamru. I will try to sing this the best that I can. We'll see how it goes. But here we go. All right. Vishamru vene Israel et hashabat lasot et hashabat the dorotam de brit olam. Bene uvene, bene Israel, bene Israel, o t le olam vishamru, vene Israel, ehet ha shabbat, la so tet ha shabbat, the doratam de brit olam. Ki shesha shemim asa adonai. Asa Adonai et Hashemim ve et Haaretz vishamru vene Israel et Hashabbat lasot et Hashabbat the doatam the Brit Olam uvayom hashvei Shabbat vayenafash Shabbat vayenafash Shabbat. Vain afash vishamru vene Israel et Shabbat la so Shabbat the doatam the Brit Olam vishamru vene Israel et Shabbat la so Shabbat the doatam the Brit Olam. The people of Israel shall keep Shabbat, observing Shabbat throughout the ages as a covenant for all time. It is a sign for all time between me and the people of Israel. For in six days Adonai made the heaven and the earth. And on the seventh day God ceased from work and was refreshed. All right, let's go ahead and do the Amida. So please stand. Uh, if you if you're able to, if not, um, then you can just stay in your seat. But normally in the Amida, you try to stand if you're able to. Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, God of our fathers and mothers, God of Abraham, God of Isaac, and God of Jacob, God of Sarah, God of Rebekah, God of Rachel, and God of Leah, the great, mighty, and awesome God, transcendent God. Who bestows loving bestows loving kindness creates everything out of love, remembers the love of our fathers and mothers, and brings redemption to their children's, for the sake of the divine name. Sovereign deliverer, helper and shield. Blessed are you, Adonai, Sarah's helper, Abraham's shield. In Hebrew, Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Be'Elohei Avotenu V'Yimutenu Elohei Avraham Elohei Yitzchak Ve'Elohei Yaakov. Elohe Sarah, Elohe Rivka, Elohe Rachel, Elohe Leah, Ha'el Hagado, Hagibor, Ve'anora, El, Elyon, Gomel, Chazadim, Tovim, Begone, Hako, Bezoher, Chazde, Avot, Vimahot, Umavi, Gula, Livne, Venehem, Lemaan, Shmo, Bahava, Melech, Uzer, Umashi, Umagin, Baruch, Tadanai, Magin, Abraham, Bezrat, Sarah. Let's go ahead and uh, bow our heads and take a moment for a silent prayer. Alrighty, so with the thanks for the silent prayer, I always want to uh, do a pray a prayer for the state of Israel, a prayer for um, the United States, uh, especially um, now. Would like to pray for a uh, prayer for um, the president. Uh, we have a new president. Um, who just got inaugurated today. So want to pray that God, uh, that he will turn to God every time that he needs wisdom. Pray to God for help and to be humble. 
um, pray for all of his decisions through God. I also want to pray for the violence across our great country to stop. Um, it's really increasing, so really want to pray for peace uh, in all the world, of course. Um, but in the United States, it's gotten really, um, it, it's definitely gotten out of hand. So I want to pray for peace for this great country as well. So it is time for our Torah service. Shoo, you that means you guys get a few minutes without me trying to stumble with the singing. All right, so let's go ahead and break out the Torah. So, Shema Israel Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad, Echad Eloheinu Gado Adonenu Kadosh Benora Shemo, Galu Le Adonai Eti On Roma Shemo Yachtov. And as the ark was carried forward, Moses would say, Arise, Adonai, that your enemies be scattered and your foes be put to flight. The Torah shall emanate from Zion, the word of Adonai from Jerusalem. Praise is Adonai in holiness bestowed Torah to the people of Israel. Baruch et Adonai Hamevarach, Baruch Adonai Hamevarach Lalam Vayed, Baruch Ata Adonai Elohenu Malchalam Asher Bachar Banu Mechol Ha'amim Venatan Lanu Et Torah To. Baruch Ata Adonai Nuten Ha Torah. Blessed is Adonai who is be blessed. Blessed is Adonai who is be blessed forever and ever. Blessed are you, Adonai, ruler of the universe, who chose us from among all the people and gave us your Torah. Blessed are you, Adonai, who gives us the Torah. This is the Torah which Moses placed before the people of Israel, God's word through the hands of Moses. All right, so today's Torah reading is the Parashat Shemot, Exodus 1 through 6. So I will read a little bit off of that, and then I will give you my take on it. So the part that I'm going to give you my take on is the birth of Moses. Now a man from the house of Levi went and took as his wife a Levite woman. The woman conceived and bore a son. And when she saw that he was a fine child, she hid him three months. When she could hide him no longer, she took for him a basket made of bulrushes and got it all set up. Then she put the child in it and placed it among the, the reeds by the riverbank. And his sister stood at a distance to know what would be done to him if they didn't do this. Now the daughter of Pharaoh came down to bathe at the river. While her young women walked beside the river, she saw the basket among the reeds and sent the servant woman, and she took it. When she opened it, she saw a child. And behold, the baby was crying. She took pity on him and said, This is one of the Hebrews' children. Then his sister said to Pharaoh's daughter, Shall I go and call you a, call you a nurse from the Hebrew woman to nurse the child for you? And the Pharaoh's daughter said to her, Go. So the girl went and called the child's mother. So let me back up here a second. Basically what happened is Moses' mother, they were told that any male Hebrew that was born was to be thrown into the river, basically to be killed. They were going to get rid of all the male Hebrew boys. So she hid this child, her child, to try to avoid anything happening to her son. Then she went and put her son into the river and prayed that everything would be good for her son. Now, there are many translations to this chapter. There are different ways that you can look at this. But here's my take. I'm looking at this more in like a present time. So she put her child, she didn't really have a whole lot to begin with in the first place. Now she has her son. And she knows she can't keep her son. So she puts her son, she sacrifices her son, and all in the entire life and everybody in her family, she puts her son on the river 
and prays to God that good things will happen for her son. How many is that? Or how is that in today's society? How can we translate that, right? You know, who are we? Who are our children? You know, what is our purpose? How many of us go through life wondering what it is that we're made of and what we're supposed to do? So, like Moses' mom, she probably had no idea what was really going to happen. Who really was her son? She probably thought that she's just some Hebrew woman, some slave, that life means nothing to anybody, and that she's just, you know, maybe a farmer or a goat herder or, you know, not really making any money or ends meet. And here she is just walking the earth just aimlessly every day, right? Who would have known? That she, besides God, of course, who would have known that her son was about to change everybody's lives? It's kind of like the movie, It's a Wonderful Life. And he was so upset, the actor, the protagonist, was so upset with his life that he was ready to give it up. And then the angel was trying to earn his wings and he had to show the protagonist how he, his life really was worth a lot more than he thought it would be and he showed how his brother was how his brother was without him how, how everybody's lives were affected because he wasn't there so now in our present lives think about all the things and all the people that we have touched our children have touched our parents have touched or, or or we are the children of our parents and what have we done how many great things and people's lives have we touched the Torah portion for this week I feel is so powerful because we sometimes miss this that our lives are way more important than we think it is just because we might not have the most luxurious job or might not have loads of money sitting in the bank we are so important moses ends up changing the world of for people they made movies about him they wrote books and books and books about him you know people do all kinds of things about what moses has done this one person story has traveled for thousands and thousands of years so many people has he touched just like each and every one of us we have touched people and we don't even know it there are artists who work hard on their portraits or their drawings for years they pass away and all of a sudden their artwork is been trans has been transferred and been transferred and been transferred for years and they never even knew how many lives they've touched and yet they've been passed away for many many years our lives are so important so don't ever give up so when you think your life sucks think again every little thing you do has an impact on someone positively or negatively it has an impact on someone every little thing you do has an impact on someone but the great thing of it is is even the negative you can take it away because it still has an impact every little thing we do has an impact that is my take on tonight's Torah reading I love this portion because I could just imagine she's running now the bible goes so fast and then you turn the page you turn the page you turn the page but if you take a moment i could just imagine she's looking over her shoulder running to the river trying to figure out where to put her son and i could just imagine as she goes away she's probably crying and she's probably thinking my life sucks i've got no purpose 
If it wasn't for her, there would have been no Moses. And where would we be today? Look at what she has accomplished for all of us. That is my take on the Torah. All right, so after our Torah reading, so Baruch Atadonai Elohim Malklam Asher Natan Lanu Amet Rachai Alon Olam Nata Betokenu Baruch Atadonai No Ten Ha Torah. So remember, God will test each and every one of us, and at times we will feel that our lives are falling apart, just like Moses' mom. But remember, to keep his commandments, God will stay close and get through, get you through all of your tough times. When things seem to be really tough, harder than you could possibly imagine, make a vow to God. Show him how much you want his help. And honor that vow. God will hear your request. Never stop asking for God's help. But most of all, honor his rules and laws. Pass them on to your children and their children so that people will know what God's rules are and how loving he is. Never forget that God is mightier than any human on earth. Blessed are you, Adonai, ruler of the universe, who gave us the Torah of truth and implanted us with eternal life. Blessed are you, Adonai, who gives us the Torah. A prayer for peace. Nations shall now not lift up sword against nation, nor shall they learn war any more. All right, let's go ahead and do a prayer for healing. This is the Misha Barak prayer. Uh, Debbie Friedman usually sings a song, this, this type of song, so I'll try to sing it, but uh, <laughs> I, I definitely can't sing that well, but we'll do the best I can. So the Misha Barak prayer, so if you know anybody who has prayer for healing, please shoot me an email and I will uh, say it next week, but I will go ahead and do it right now. So, Misha Barak. Avotenu mekor ha bracha leumotenu. May the source of strength who blessed the one before us help us find the courage to make our lives a blessing and let us say Amen. So I'd like to pray for Joanna who has cancer, Charlotte's medical condition. Uh, Bruce's up and coming sur surgery. Scott, who was released from the hospital two two days ago and was actually rushed back to the emergency room yesterday. Uh, my wife, who is doing a MS uh, fundraiser for her best friend who has MS. Um, Kenny, who is suffer who is suffering from a stroke. And those of you and anybody you know who is suffering from any illnesses or sicknesses or the flu, which is very common right now, pray for them. So. Bless those in need of healing with refua shlema, the renewal of body, the renewal of spirit, and let us say, Amen. Uh, Thanksgiving blessing. Blessed are you, O Lord, our God, ruler of the universe, who bestows kindness on those who are committed and who has granted to me all kindness. May the one who has granted you all kindness always grant kindness to you. Amen. So let's go ahead and return the Torah. Praise to you, Adonai, our God, sovereign of the universe, rock of creation, righteous one of all generations, the faithful God whose word is deed, whose every command is just and true for the Torah and for the privilege of worship for the prophets and for this Shabbat that you and I our God have given us our holiness and rest for honor and glory we thank you and bless you may your name be blessed forever and ever praise to you and I for the Sabbath and its holiness amen all right the law of the Lord is perfect restoring the soul the testimony of the Lord is sure making wise the simple the precepts of the Lord are right rejoicing the heart the judgments of the Lord are true they are righteous altogether. Behold, a good doctrine has been given unto you. Forsake it not. Let's go ahead and close the ark doors. It is a 
It is a tree of life for those who hold it fast, and all its supporters are happy. Its ways are ways of pleasantness, and all its paths are peace. Return us to you, Adonai, and we will return, renew our days of old. For I have given you good instruction. Do not abandon my Torah. Let's go ahead and close the ark, virtually speaking. All right, let's go ahead and do the Alenu. Alenu le shebech vahadon hachol le tet gedula le ozeh breshit shaloh asanu kiyeh harazot velo samanu kemesh b'ko hadama shaloh sam chalkenu kaim begralenu akoho hamonam vanachnu korim umish takavim umodim lifne melech. Moke Hamakim Hakadosh Baruch Hu. Let us now praise the sovereign of the universe and proclaim the greatness of the Creator of who has set us apart from the other families of the earth, giving us a destiny unique among the nations. We bind a knee and bow, acknowledging the supreme sovereign of the Holy One of Blessing. All right, so those of you who Let's do that and do the mourner's cottage. But to those of you who have a prayer for anybody that you know who's recently passed away, anyone who's uh, honoring a yard site uh, anniversary of uh, someone who passed away. So if you know anybody who recently passed away, uh, go ahead and say a prayer for them. Uh, you can shoot me an email and I will also pray for them as well. But let's go ahead and say the mourner's cottage. Yit gadal v'yikadash shemei rabah be'almad di'vrach shirotei ve'amlich machuhte. Amen. Vecham Alenu Vyako Israel Vemru Amen. O say shalom bin Ramav, who you are say shalom alenu, Vyako Israel Vemru Amen. Exalted Hallow be God's great name on the world which God created. According to plan, may God's majesty be revealed in the days of our lifetime and the life of Israel. Speedy and mentally to which we say Amen. Blessed be God's great name to all eternity, blessed, praise, honored, exalted, exalted, glorified, adored, and lauded. Be the name of the Holy Blessed One beyond all earthly words and songs of blessing and praise and comfort to which we say, Amen. Amen. All right, so let's go ahead and say the Kiddush, the Kiddush, and that is a blessing over wine. But in this case, I will do it over water. Because I don't have wine. So let's go ahead and do the do the Kadush. Hang on one second. Let me get it, turn it to that page. All right. I'll do it in English first. Praise to you, Adonai, our God, sovereign of the universe, creator of the fruit of the vine. Praise to you, Adonai, our God, sovereign of the universe, who finding favor with us, sanctified us with the mitzvot. In love and favor. You made the Holy Shabbat our heritage as a reminder of the work of creation. As first among all sacred days, it recalls the exodus from Egypt. You chose us and set us apart from the peoples. In love and favor, you've given us your Holy Shabbat as an inheritance. Praise to you, Adonai, who sanctifies Shabbat. Now in Hebrew, Baruch Atah Adonai El Hanel Mal Chalam Barei Pri HaGafen. Baruch Atah Adonai El Hanel Mal Chalam Asher Kachana B'Mitz Tav Ratzivanu Veshabat Chodcho. Alright, so we are coming to the end of our service. And let's go ahead. I wanted to do, of course, I'm not going to sing this, which is technically a really good song. It sang right, and I'm not really that great of a singer. So let's do the En Kalohenu. I will read it in English after I do the Hebrew. 
En Kalohenu, En Kadonenu, En Kamalkenu, En Kamoshienu, Me Kalohenu, Me Kadonenu, Me Kamalkenu, Me Kamoshienu, No de le Hanohenu, No de Ladonenu, No de le Malkenu, No de le Moshienu, Baruch Alohenu, Baruch Adonenu, Baruch Malkenu, Baruch Moshienu, Atahu Alohenu, Atahu Adonenu, Atahu Malkenu, Atahu Moshienu, Atahu shik kitura abotenu lefanecha et kituret ha samaim. So I'll read it in English here in just a second. But in Judaism, we do prayers to God roughly about 20 a day. So in this one alone, there's 12, roughly 12. So this pretty much would get, you know, most of your prayers done. So in Kalahini stands for, there is none like our God. There is none like our God. There is none like our Lord. There is none like our King. There is none like our Savior. Who is like our God? Who is like our Lord? Who is like our King? Who is like our Savior? Let us thank our God. Let us thank our Lord. Let us thank our King. Let us thank our Savior. Blessed are you, our God. Blessed are you, our Lord. Blessed are you, our King. Blessed are you, our Savior. Thou art God. Thou art our Lord. Thou art King. Thou art our Savior. Thou art the one before whom our fathers offered the spice offering. Actually, it's more like 20 than it is 12. But anyway, you get what I'm saying. There are a lot of prayers just in the in Kalahina. So I hope you enjoyed our service. That is almost the end. We are concluding it right now. But I want to thank you all for watching tonight. Please check out our Facebook page. Please like us and follow us. And please check out our services every Monday through Thursdays, our weeknight motivations. Again, they're only about 10 minutes long. 7 o'clock p.m. Pacific time. Our Shabbat services on Friday at 6 o'clock Pacific time. Those are getting better. Uh, as well as singing will come. I know we're going to get some music. I can see it. If I had a crystal ball, I'd tell you exactly when, but I don't I don't know exactly, but I know it's coming. But please check out our website at www.mouthpage.com and don't forget to like us and follow us on Facebook. Mouthpage Spiritual Communities is our Facebook page. Please send us any prayer requests for the week. Mouthpage is a non-profit organization, so please, organization, so please feel free to donate whenever you can. Next week, Monday through Thursday for the next basically 10 days of our weeknight motivational services, we are doing the 10, the 10 commandments. Dun, dun, dun. I'm excited to do it. I know that's a one that a lot of people don't talk about as much anymore, but I'm talking about it. I'm bringing it back. It's something I really want, I feel passionate about. And I think we need to motivate it into our weeknight motivation. So I will see everybody on Monday. Have a great uh, Shabbat and Shabbat Shalom to everyone. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I want to wish all of you a happy Shabbat. And remember, help each other to be nice. God bless and Lila Tov. Love you all.